Honestly, I couldn't see off their helmets. I just heard it. It happens to say, uh, if I get lucky, let's see what happens. And turn you heard around. the ball hit the helmet? Yeah, I heard the ball hit the helmet, and I was like, oh, it might have been a lucky bounce. Looked up and it happened to be. Were you completely healthy at the beginning of the season? Uh, at the start, yeah. I Like during the training camp and stuff, I was a little bruised up. But by the start, South Carolina, I was good. What was it you were seeing out of this defense that just let you beat them deep? Those two long touchdowns. Uh, there's nothing different than any team we really played. Just the opportunity to, to be open and, and see it. You know, obviously all our receivers have been open before. We just some some days we always get hit when it's open, and some days you don't. So the offense was kind of sluggish before that first touchdown. Oh, yeah. What really happened on that play that, that broke it open? Uh, nothing really like special happened. Uh, we because it could have happened in those first two drives if we don't throw an interception first, and then one gets batted up in the air unluckily and gets intercepted. So. It was just, you know, defense that we've seen all week and been having scout teams run against us, and we knew it was open before before the ball was in the snap. You gave, like, a little shrug or a little look after that touchdown, I think. What was kind of going through on it? Because I had uh, looked back at Queese, and I, I knew it was, like I was saying, I knew it was a touchdown just reading the defense where the safety was lined up. I had seen it all week in practice, so I, I knew it was that coming. And we knew that when we saw number nine, we knew Matt was going to score because, you know, we was going to take a shot at him. and. Stem him and go. Max is going to fly. And, you know, Mac did the rest. He the rest was history for him. He said uh, he said he doesn't watch much sports. So he probably won't watch sports so anymore after that top ten. That's play. true. Will you Man, be looking forward to more? Uh, honestly, I won't. But you know, he don't watch sports. But he love boxing and he love Floyd. You know, I don't know why he think he's a boxer, but you know, he's a great guy. Man, he, he's one of those weird guys that watches other than sports. But that's Mac. You know, whatever makes Max happy, I'm happy. <laughs> but on that on that crazy catch he had, I know you probably saw it from as it left your hand. What yeah. was your thoughts when you saw him? Which one? Um, the first touchdown when he bounced off the guy's helmet. And honestly, I didn't even get to see because I was getting smacked. So I, I didn't even get to catch that one. But I knew that, you know, I heard the crowd run and Matt caught and I knew the rest was history. And he's always going to do a great job. When the ball's up in the air, he's going to bring it down. And that's what he's been doing for a long three years now. All right, make sure you check that one out. I will. <laughs> well, Quisa, you opened up a 50 burger tonight. Just talk about how this offense is I mean, we was rolling. You know, we started off slow. You know, um, some, some turnovers quick. You know, got him out. And we started to jump right on. We knew what we need. We knew we was, they wasn't stopping us. We was just stopping ourselves. And we found ways to move the ball. We knew if we execute on first down, we get the first first down, we could tempo those guys. And that's what we was doing. And it was a great feeling. You know, it's a great feeling to come out and put 50 on them and send them back their way. Beginning of the game, we had two picks, first two drives. And the defense, you know, was over with us. And screw it. You know, we got this. You know, it's on us. You know, we, we got your back. And, uh, you know, that's big, you know, with, with any team. And I feel like, you know, we got it best right now with the relationship we have, the bonds we have um, as a unit, as a team. And, um, you know, that's big. Uh, it seemed like you had a lot of targets during the week. Did you expect to have that many balls coming your way? Um, <clears throat> you know, I always go into the game just, you know, obviously being confident. And, uh, you know, I always, I always know, what, I know what to do. And uh, I, I take pride in that just because, you know, with Switz, being the player he is, I never really know, you know, when I'm going to go in. Um, so I just have to always be, be ready, keep my head in the game. And, um, you know, at, at that moment, I knew I had to go in. And, um, you know, I just got to make the plays that are, you know, I got to let everything come to me almost. And, uh, you know, I felt like I did that. And, uh, you know, a big play came, and, you know, that's what happened. Um, you know, each and every week, you know, they, they spread the ball around a lot. Our quarterbacks, you know, we have two of the best quarterbacks in the nation with Mitch and Queese, and uh, they do a great job of getting us all the ball. So, you know, I never say, you know, when I'm in, oh, I might not get the ball or anything. You know, it's just it's one of those things where you have to expect the ball because if you don't, then bad things might happen. So I just expect it. Um, you know, obviously we all want to have it. So it's kind of how it goes. Uh, it's kind of the same playing uh, defense in with the tackle and uh, tackle and tight end coming on to you and just moving aside. It's just bigger guys. But like I said before, just going up against uh, Landon, it's helped me a lot. I know one of the things the coaches said that they're working with you on is getting lower because you have to be a little bit lower when you're at tackle as opposed to end. How's that process been for you? It's been difficult. Uh, I do the best job of getting low today, and I could definitely tell I need to be. I need to work on that. Do you prefer playing inside or outside? You know what would you? Uh, you it doesn't outside? matter. Whichever they need me at. Yeah. Are there any pregame jitters for you? Of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, I had to get through a few days of practice. And then after practice, it was just the mental stuff. And then uh, as soon as kickoff came, 
it was it was on really. And then uh, as soon as I got out for like the first series, I knew it was the same thing as high school. It was just football, so I was okay after that. Did you get any, any messages from you playing your hometown team from uh, you know went to Salem area? Is that kind of? Oh, it was great just coming out, uh, seeing coaches that recruited me, and just um, just the fan base from Winston. Yeah. Uh, it was just great and just to go against the hometown. When did you find out you were going to play? Uh, Coach Chizik brought me into his office um, last Thursday, and then we talked about it. And he said, if my production that Thursday practice and Sunday's practice, then I'll probably have a good chance of playing. Did you sense that was coming? Did you feel like you were probably going to get on the field at some point this year's away? Uh, Especially the way practice had gone the last few weeks. Yeah, I, I definitely picked it up. Um, so, I mean, I didn't. I was just going hard, to be honest. I wasn't just going just to play. I was just going to help out the team, the offensive line, to get better. Carolina fans, make plans to be in Keenan Stadium when the Tar Heels host Virginia and show them you've got their back. Grease, go there, baby! Touchdown, Carolina! The Tar Heels and the Cavaliers face off Saturday, October 24th in the South's oldest rivalry. Visit the Ticket Center on GoHeels.com. We'll see you in Keenan Stadium on Saturday when you show the Tar Heels you've got their back.